the battle for Disney's boardroom is reaching Avenger status. High profile names from the world of Hollywood and finance are coming out in favor of Disney boss Bob Iger in his fight against two activists, including corporate cage rattler, Tryon founder Nelson Peltz. It looks like Iger could win this battle, but if he wants to be the hero, he should invite his nemesis on the board. Research firm Institutional Shareholder Services came out in Peltz's corner, while Glass Lewis recommended that investors vote for all of Disney's 12 directors at its upcoming annual meeting in April. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon and Star Wars creator George Lucas have also endorsed Iger. But at the heart of the issue is the question of what is a board for? It's to hold management accountable and set a succession strategy. And on that count, the board has failed. The fact that they had to invite Iger back as chief executive in 2022 shows they dropped the ball. The best run companies embrace discomfort. Activists have been circling Disney for years. It's better to have pelts in the boardroom, yelling at his fellow directors, than shouting in public at anyone who will listen.